Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a nice uh, counter using uh, jQuery. So this is the effect we're going to create. Uh, if you're excited to learn how to do this, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are new here on this channel, I post new videos every single day that will help you become a better web developer so that you can earn more money and improve the quality of your life. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of the new videos that I upload. With that being said, let's get straight to the coding. I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it with my text editor, which in my case is brackets. I'm going to create the index.html file the style.css and the domain.js and the folder for the image, img. By the way, I'm going to leave a link to the image in the pinned comment of this video, so go ahead and grab it and code along with me. You'll learn better this way. I'm going to paste it here. Now, I'm going to go to the index.html, create a basic markup, give this a title of counter, link our uh, style.css, Okay, go before the closing tag of the body and put script src and put our main.js. And we need to go to a site called Font Awesome uh, so you can grab the CDN for these icons. I'm going to click start using free. Uh, click here and go right here and paste it. Okay, now I'm going to create a div with a class of container. Inside here, another div with a class of content. And in here, a div with a class of item. And uh, a div with a class of icon. And now I'm going to go uh, over to Font Awesome and search for... Uh, so go to icons. Let's see, search for user. Uh, this is it grab this and as you can see we can make it bigger with uh, another class you're gonna see so I'm gonna paste this here and below this div um, I'm gonna create an h2 and inside here the span with a class of counter and put a number 829 outside of the span I'm gonna put a plus and below this I'm gonna put an h3 and say clients now I'm going to copy this uh, whole div for the class of item two more times. I'm going to change the icon to, let's say, briefcase. And choose this. Click here to copy. Go back. Change this icon. Okay, for the number, let's say, 1248. Doesn't really matter. And for here, I'm going to put uh, projects. And for the last one, I'm going to go and search for mail. Uh, let's see, let's grab this envelope. Click to copy, go back and replace this, uh, this icon. Change the number to 982. And change the H3 to reviews. Okay, this is it for our uh, markup. Let's go and op go ahead and open the file in the browser. So open the index.html. Um, okay. Uh, what I was saying is that we can give this, for instance, a class of a fa-3x, and this will make it bigger, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this one, and for the third one as well, fa-3x. Okay, now we're going to go to our style.css and we're going to start with some uh, general styling. So first let's make some space. Okay, now let's select everything with the asterisk and set margin to 0, padding 0, box sizing. Give this uh, property of border box. Give this property a value of border box. Uh, now select the body and say font family Arial sans serif. Now for the background, use the URL, IMG, select the image, give it a height of 100 viewport heights, background size, cover, back and background position, center. Okay, let's make it a little darker, we're going to use a linear gradient, so put a comma, 
uh, linear gradient RGBA RGBA I'll give it a black color so 0 0 0 and an opacity of 0 0.5 and the same for here 0 0 0 0 0.5 as you can see now it's uh, darker now select the div with the class of container um, give it a width of 100% a background of white but we're gonna use a RGBA 255 255 255 so we can give it an opacity of 0 0.8 uh, position set it to absolute we're gonna center it uh, top 50% transform translate y minus 50% let's take a look as you can see it's centered okay now uh, select the div with the class of content so content give this a display of flex this will align the items horizontally um, it will display them horizontally and uh, justify content center also give it a height of 300 pixels okay now select the div of the class of item and say text align center and uh, margin auto okay uh, now the the h3 so item h3 uh, font size let's say 40 40 pixels and the uh, text transform set it to uppercase and the color I'm gonna put 0076 ff um, okay let's take a look all right now for the h2 so item h2 uh, font size 55 pixels uh, font weight bold uh, padding 25 pixels on top and bottom zero left to right all right uh, moving on let's see now I'm gonna select the the actual i tag so item i give this a display of inline block give it a padding of 35 pixels all around a background of uh, our primary color 0076 ff a color set it to white let's take a look okay let's make the corners let's make it a circle so border radius 50 percent all right now give it a position of absolute and uh, top minus 20 percent now we're gonna need to center them uh, individually so uh, item i dot fa user make sure there's no space between uh, i and fa user uh, left 13.5% uh, okay it centered it moving on item i dot fa briefcase left 40 46.5% okay and uh, the last one item i dot uh, fa dash envelope and this time right 13.8% and that should do it okay it's centered and uh, that uh, we are pretty much done with the markup now we have to create the counter and animate it so first I'm gonna go to I'm gonna search for jQuery CDN go right here and select the minified version copy this and uh, paste it uh, uh, just above the let's make some space here just above the main that uh, JS now we're gonna need to search for uh, counter counter J uh, jQuery counter JS go to github uh, download the zip and uh, unzip it I already have it uh, right here and I'm gonna copy this uh, counter up min JS and place it uh, right here now if we take a look at uh, if you take a look uh, down here it says requires waypoints.js so I'm gonna go right here and download it 
unzip this okay go to this folder go to lib folder and select the uh, jquery that waypoints that mean that js copy this and paste it in this folder of your project now i'm going to go here and uh, use script src first include the waypoints and then the counter since uh, the counter requires waypoints so src equals counter up that mean that js and now we just need to go to our main.js file and say document let's first test this so alert hey as you can see it works uh, let me close this now i'm going to use the dollar sign document dot ready uh, function and inside here uh, i'm going to say actually you have uh, if you go back to counter that counter js uh, we have right here how to it shows us how to use it with extra parameters copy this code right here so uh, I'm gonna select the element to class of counter and if you remember we gave this um, spans of the numbers uh, a class of counter and uh, that's pretty much all we have to do let's uh, test it so if I refresh it, as you can see, our uh, counter, it's working. Refresh it. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment and share this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.